it's Paul Farmer again uh, today what I'm going to do is uh, continue with showing you how to do capture pages using Weebly for free pretty much uh, today what I want to do is I actually want to show you how to create a capture page that will allow you to have a video on it that you could send to your prospects uh, and one of the best places to do this is on Weebly I mean, not we, we, I'm sorry, on Facebook. Because when you're talking to someone and they ask you what you do, if you have a video that's ready to go, you can just send them that video with your, your video on it, talking about yourself, your story, what you do, why you do what you do. And it just uh, it personalizes it. Uh, it. It doesn't come off as spammy. It's just, look, this is me. This is my story. This is who I am, and this is what I do. Take a look. You like it? Great. Hop on board. If not, cool. Whatever. Go do your own thing. You know, and it makes it really, really easy. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. <laughs> now, um, I just actually created this one, so we're going to go look at this one real quick, so you can just see what we're going to do. And I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. And oh, you know what? I didn't publish it. My bad. So we're just gonna go back and create a whole new thing. I didn't publish that one. So all right, we'll go. We we and we're gonna create a whole new site. Oh wait, I'm sorry. I went to the wrong one. Is this one? So let me show you what I did. And no, it didn't save, my bad. All right, well, we'll use this one anyway. It's already set up. So uh, first thing I did was I got rid of a couple of these things. I, I didn't need email, I didn't need LinkedIn, but I'm leaving Facebook and Twitter because when I'm talking to people uh, and I send them my video, it's, it's nice to have these social media where they can connect with you. So I put that, I leave that alone. I deleted the uh, top part here, the site. You can see, uh, see normally it's there. I turn that off. And then I also deleted all the pages, the home, the about. And I did that in a previous video. You can go see what that's about. So the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into pages. And see all these are hidden. I click hidden. I'm going to put no header. I'm going to hit save. And there we go. Nice and clean. So I'm going to show you two different styles of capture pages. And again, these work really, really well. It's not that important what you have on the top. So I'm just going to put whatever, uh, because your video is going to be doing all the talking. Um, discover how I was able, oops, able, oh man, I cannot spell, able to make, uh, let's say 500 dollars without lifting uh, without five hundred dollars while kicking it kicking kicking it at the beach okay something like that that's not perfect you can play around with this uh, my goal in this video is to show you how to set this up so it's nice and easy for you to do Okay, so I'm going to center this. I go to the middle, click there. Next thing I'm going to do is I need to put... Now, there, there are different things in here. There's like video, like there's YouTube. Uh, this is the paid version, so I'm not going to use that. I could use YouTube if I want, just drop it right in here. But what I'm going to do for this example is I'm just going to use the embed code. So all I'm going to do is take the embed code drop it here. So all I want to do is I'm going to use uh, Vimeo in this example, but you can use YouTube. All you want to do is take your your uh, embed code, see right here, and I have this turned on autoplay, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Um, and I'm just going to uh, let's see here, drop it right in here, and see if it lets me do that. 
So I just want to drop it right here. Get rid of that. Boom. Okay, so now we have the video. It should be right. There we go. It's in the center. I'm going to turn that off. Now I have my video. I have my text at the top. I'm going to enter something on the bottom here. So I'm going to go back up. Go to here. I'm just going to drop that here. And then I'm just going to write uh, some text about sorry pressing the button on the bottom so let's say uh, get instant access to oops to profit to profit uh, profit video and underneath it click on the button below now Something like that. Okay, and same thing. I just want to center it. And again, you could write more, you can write whatever you want, whatever you feel is going to be uh, beneficial. And let me just make that a little bigger. Easy enough. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a button, or you could take an image. If you want to have your own image here, like an image of a button, you could drop it right here. And put that image but I'm going to show you the button what the button looks like so here's the button I'm going to drag the button right below this here drop it there and it needs to be centered oops that's the video sorry about that And now we're going to go, uh, let's see here, right here, and we want to move the button text to the middle. Uh, I'm going to put a link for this example, I'm just going to link it to my blog. What you'd want to do is you want to have them go to your page, your, your video of your company, whatever you're promoting. You want them to go to that page so they can watch that. I'm going to save that. I'm going to change the button text to get access now. And that should do it. Now you can play around with this stuff, make it look prettier, right? Make it look nicer, make it look cleaner. But this is just an example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish it, and let's see how this works. Um, looks good. Uh, skip that. Don't need that. And we're going to click here. And there it is. Okay. The video st st starts playing, and then if they click this button here, it should take them straight to my blog. Let's see if they do if it does that. Okay, so it works perfectly. It took them to to my blog. That's where I wanted it to go. What you would do is you'd put your link to whatever you are marketing. Whatever sales video you have, you would put your link here um, where the button is. So that's that. Now let's go back and I'm going to change this completely. So this is one example. Having it uh, vertical like this, this is one example. Let me show you another example. So I'm going to take the columns. So I'm just going to drop it, uh, let's see, let's drop it right here. And now watch this. I have two columns. I'm going to take the video That's annoying. <laughs> I'll turn that off. Okay, so we're going to move this up to the middle here, like so. Put 
that right there. Did that work? And I went to the wrong side. So we just gotta drag it over to the left. And there we go. There that is. That's in place. You can make it smaller if you want. You can make it bigger. It really doesn't matter. It's your choice. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the text, this part here, oops. Click outside of that so I can drag it. Grab that, drag it up to the top. Right there. Leave that alone and then I'm gonna drag this up to the top. And that's all you gotta do. Okay, and then I'm just gonna center this a little bit. So I'm gonna move this down. Uh, let's do that, no, right about there, okay? And let's change this. Click on the button to the right. Actually, it's, it is click on the button below. That works. And I'm just gonna move this up about halfway, right about there is good. And there you go. Now I'm just going to publish. Super easy. Doesn't take any time at all. And you have a capture page. Just like that. Now, um, I don't know why this bar is showing up. Uh, can definitely get rid of that in the HTML code. You have to play around with that. But right here, um, we could definitely make this better, make it bigger, make this look better. But this is just to show you what's possible. And once you have it all tweaked and put together the way you want, uh, all you do is just send this video to your prospect. So if someone's talking to you and they ask you what you do, all you have to do is copy the link and send it over to them. Go, hey, this is a video I did, talks about myself, what I do, and just share the video with them they're going to hear your story. They're going to get to know you better. And when they click here, it will take them to your video and they can watch the video. So this is super simple. This is going to make it way, way, way easier for you to market, especially when you're prospecting online on Facebook. Uh, it works like a charm. I'd highly, highly recommend doing your own video, doing your own little story, tell your story, share why you're doing what you're doing, put it on a page, kind of like this, not exactly, but kind of like this, and uh, you're going to get sales. It's going to happen because people will connect with you, and you'll have a professional looking page. Remember, you can look this up in uh, Google, just Google it, how to take the Weebly uh footer off you can take that off you know, have a nice clean looking page if you mask forward and mask this link and go daddy no one will really know where you did this unless they're very familiar with Weebly they won't know it'll just look like a nice page and uh, you'll get uh, some uh, some some good good uh, good things from this sales now, if you wanted to, you could also take your AWeber form like I showed you in yesterday's video and drop that right here instead, and you would be able to capture leads that way. Um, I use this primarily just as a way, when someone asks me what I do, this is what I send them. Instead of explaining to them what I do and how I do it and all this other stuff, no, I just, I just send them the video, let the video do the talking, let the video get them to know who I am and uh, see what I do and uh, that's it. it it's super simple it shouldn't take you long what do you do send the video what do you do send the video so that's what I have today hope you got value from it if you did please let me know uh, stay tuned for future trainings I'll be doing more and I'll see you next time